Because I have $30,000 in credit card debt. Peter Griffin, you've got company. I ended up racking up $25,000. I'm over here <laughs> drowning. <laughs> I think I'm $20,000 in credit card debt. The balance right now is $18,000. $821.53. While some people are vulnerable enough to share their debt journeys on social media, there's typically a lot of shame around credit card debt. I feel bad enough. Please don't come in the comments talking about how irresponsible. I know, I know. And credit card experts say that shame is often misguided. There's definitely this idea that credit card debt is always the result of frivolous spending. You're shopping, you're going out, you're buying stuff you shouldn't buy that you don't need. The reality for a lot of people is credit cards are what are helping them make it from week to week. The Federal Reserve reports U.S. credit card debt reached an all-time high at the end of 2023 at $1.13 trillion. That's up $143 billion from the year before. Context is important. I mean, we're at a higher level of population than we've ever been before. Um, you know, we've also seen tremendous inflation. When adjusted for inflation, Wallet Hub says total credit card debt is about 10% off its peak, which the country hit in 2008 during the Great Recession. But the CEO said growing balances this year could put the inflation-adjusted record in striking distance. We've got more people carrying larger balances for a longer period of time at a time when credit card rates are at a record high. And oh, by the way, delinquencies are the highest since 2012. So, I mean, you put that all together. I mean, there's, there's no explaining that away that oh, everything's fine. 60% of households are living paycheck to paycheck and clearly there everything is not fine. A nerd wallet survey reveals about half of Americans with revolving credit card debt are charging necessities like food. What's made this bout of inflation so insidious is that it's hit hardest on necessities, shelter, food, energy costs, even things like automobile insurance, since January 2021, the cost of living has been rising faster than the private sector's average hourly wage. At the same time, Americans' personal savings are draining after COVID-19 peaks. If you don't have uh, much of a cushion of savings, you have no buffer between you and credit card debt the next time an unplanned expense arises. For the second consecutive year, more than a third of Americans say they have more credit card debt than emergency savings. It's the highest percentage since bank rates started asking this question in 2011. Gen Xers and millennials are driving the trend, which bank rates Greg McBride says makes sense. Those are the prime years of rising household expenses here. Buying houses, buying cars, raising a family, putting kids through college. But Gen Z's credit card debt is growing faster than any other generation. Credit Karma says it went up nearly 23% in one year. I really feel for the younger generation now that's just beginning to enter the workforce because it is very hard out there. Costs are up, wages are not up as much as costs, and interest rates are really high. You guys, the interest is what kills me. I get charged like $400 in interest a week. Bankrate says about half of credit card users carry a balance from month to month, up from 39% in 2021. And in today's interest rate environment, getting out from under that debt can seem insurmountable. It's like credit card debt, man. They just want to keep you paying forever. It just becomes another bill that you pay every month. Uh, that's that's really what it looks like for people who are in never-ending credit card debt. Credit card debt, credit card debt, credit card debt. Take the average credit card debt of $6,360. Without taking on any additional debt, if this person only makes minimum payments with the average interest rate of around 21%, they'll spend more than 25 years paying off the card and they'll pay more than $10,000 in interest. I don't have as cavalier an attitude toward my debt as the song suggests. I'm, I'm actually up most nights with severe panic attacks. For those facing crippling credit card debt, experts say a great option to really chip away at it is moving that debt to a balance transfer card with a zero or low interest introductory rate. The problem is these cards are hard to come by if you don't have good or excellent credit. Look at contacting a nonprofit credit counseling agency uh, who can really kind of help you with things like budgeting, debt management, uh, th those type of things kind of get you pointed in the right direction. It might even mean declaring bankruptcy at some point if you really don't see a way out of your debt. NerdWallet says about a third of Americans that carry a balance month to month believe they'll be in credit card debt forever. Once you get into credit card debt, it is hard to get out. Hard, but not hopeless.
Y'all, I just paid off $31,597 worth of credit card debt. I paid off $12,400 in credit card debt. and I just paid off two credit cards, baby.